So this is going to be a reading for my cancers. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for August 16th through the 18th. Keep in mind, this is general, so only take what does apply and let the rest fly. If you want more so of a personal, that information will be listed in the description. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe so that you never miss a beat in the future whenever we upload. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. The first card is going to represent you and your present situation, Cancers. So we have, okay, so we have the sun card here. So very positive energy. The sun card, this is speaking to you guys, prioritizing your personal happiness, doing things for you, especially after constantly doing things for other people, constantly putting other people before yourself romantic family pretty much everyone this is you prioritizing you okay i'm um, also with the sun card this is speaking to like personal realizations personal understandings that you're reaching okay clarifying that i do have the seven of wands of this is personal realizations of struggles or issues that you don't have to put up with or other people's passive aggressiveness or the energy or issues they're bringing your way you don't have to put up with that and also this is realizations where you may have too much of a guard up where you know of course fair boundaries that's needed but when you have such a wall up that you're unable to like really connect with people or you're like fearful of like you know people backstabbing you after past experiences kind of discredits the opportunity to meet new people and that's something that you guys may be realizing especially when it comes to love um this is also realizations in terms of like personal obstacles that may be keeping you from really being in the position that you want to be in now when it comes to the possible challenge that may come up i do have the three of cups so this could be um, some people in your friend group. You're kind of questioning whether or not they're genuine friends. They could be the type to like gossip and tell your business whenever you tell them anything or you just don't know if they have, again, genuine intentions. They may be, they may be moving funny sometimes, excuse me. Uh, this could also be reconciling with someone who's like fickle with the princess of cups they could be inconsistent in their efforts or pursuing you or just very childish acting sometimes or very emotional and you guys may have fell out recently or they may have kind of like ghosted you in a sense hmm. this is also part personal accolades that you want to accomplish and you may be beating yourself up for the fact that you haven't taken initiative enough um, this is staying away from that personal feeling okay now what i see for the next card this is going to represent the suggested actions so i have the queen of swords so this is applying a level of logic when it comes to your decisions during this time frame. Hold on, take a drink of water. So yeah, applying a level of logic to your decision making during this time frame. Also, this is being brutally honest with yourself and other people in terms of how you feel. It doesn't have to be brutal, literally, but this is being honest when it comes to how you feel in a connection and, and making things clear in terms of like what you need from a particular relationship. Um, another thing I see some of you really do need to kind of brainstorm when it comes to like what career direction is going to kind of fit you and, and serve you best with the nine of pentacles in reverse some of you feel like you're not like financially being supported enough doing what you're doing or you need more financial support or there's a business idea that you want to put out there and you don't have the financial backing for it so again this is all in brainstorming this is also like getting very analytical with your finances looking at 
the details, okay? How do you spend your money? What can you cut back on? Things like that. Like strategizing a plan for your financial needs and your financial, financial, excuse me, future goals. But the next card is going to represent your love life. And I do have the star card. So... Okay, this is you trying to remain hopeful in regards to your relationship, standing the test of time, especially if you guys are going through it. This is also, for my singles, you trying to have a level of hope or faith in regards to opening up or for love to come in, even though sometimes that is a little bit testy, okay? You could be dealing with... um, a partner who is again fickle some days you guys are on good terms and they act interested other days not so much they could irritate you with some of the ways that they approach things some of you are single and you're kind of tired of the people who are seemingly interested but then it's like something falls short something falls short Okay, now when it comes to career and finances, I have the Ten of Wands. So you may feel overwhelmed. You may have a lot of stuff on your plate in terms of like work stuff that you have to take care of. Um, You may be feeling just weighed down with your job or you feel like your job may be a burden. You may work long hours. You don't have like personal time or the energy's off. And king of this. Some of you have like multiple jobs. You don't have a personal life. Oh my god, these cards. Yeah, some of you are over with the job, but destiny is gonna kick in with the justice card here. Hmm. Oh, also another thing that I see, some of you guys may be ending some sort of like business agreement or business deal with someone who's like shady and weird moving when it comes to business. But this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective and that you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Of course, any information you need to book a reading will be listed below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.